Hi, I'm Carlin with Realty One Group Prosper, and today I want to talk about lawsuits. Um, as a friendly reminder, if you want to know what's going on with the Austin Board of Realtors, uh, be sure to check out abor.com forward slash legal update for all the current information on what's going on with the lawsuits involving our board. Um, but I wanted to talk about the lawsuits because what we're seeing out in the marketplace are buyers hearing about these lawsuits, realizing they have options and choosing to represent themselves. And my suggestion to you is to do more open houses. We're seeing them come in through open houses and, and talking about representing themselves when they submit an offer. I would just implore you to understand and be able to communicate to these prospective buyers um, why they should consider being represented. What are, what are the fallbacks if they're not represented? And what are the assets? What can you bring to the table to help represent them and protect their money? You know, they're, they're thinking that they need to save money on the sales price and, and not have that commission rolled in. But a good agent can not only protect and perhaps negotiate and get a better sales price for them, um, but can also protect them throughout the entire transaction when it comes to their inspection report and the results of that and you know navigating financing and title issues and there's just so much more to it that we've got to convey to these buyers so that they fully understand what they're stepping into and you know i just worry that an unrepresented buyer going against a really experienced agent in a listing that is asking for more legal trouble and more lawsuits we, we really want to avoid that these buyers should understand why they want representation and I just implore you to get really good at communicating your value proposition um, so that we can help educate these buyers and perhaps work with more of them. I wish you all the best in 2024. You guys take care.